Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about tupper relation calculus part. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so as discussed in the lecture, TSA is a non-procedural query language. What is non-procedural means? It means the TSA query will give us information about what data we have to find out. Okay, how to find out that data? There is no information about that. So that is why it is called non-procedural query language. Now the syntax of TRC is inside the curly bracket there is double T and here is the predicate P. Okay. So based on this condition, it will fetch the double T. Okay. So yeah, P of T is known as the predicate and these are the conditions that are used to fetch T. So predicate may have various logical operator like or and and not and also it also uses the quantifier like there exist and for all okay so here how to read this there exists a tuple t belonging to relation r such that q of t is true so there exists a tuple in t in relation r such that predicate q of t is true Okay. Similarly here, for all tuple t belonging to relation R, Q of t is true. Means Q of t is true for all tuples in a relation R. Okay. Now let us take this example, how to read the TRC query. Now here, for a tuple p, there exists as belong to student such that s dot cgpa greater than 8 and p dot name equals to s dot name and p dot h equals to s dot h. This is our required condition. S belongs to student. So from student's table, CGPA is a column, right? Column name. So having CGPA greater than 8. So we have to find out the name and age of student with CGPA above 8. So here we have specified p dot name equals to s dot name. So whatever we have to find out, we have to specify that, that there exists s belong to student for that p dot name means for a tuple p p dot name equals to s dot name and p dot h equals to s dot h so whatever we have to print or whatever we have to find out we have to specify like this okay if we are using this type of trc query okay we'll discuss few example now yeah so consider student table okay now we have to obtain the first name of student whose age is greater than 21 okay so our required condition is age greater than 21 okay now this trc query can be written in different ways okay okay if you see this example okay so if you see this expression here t dot f name okay vertical slash student t and t dot age greater than 21 so this t belong to student now here t dot f name means from student table we are fetching the f name only such that t dot h means from student table h greater than 21. Similarly we can write it as t dot f name t belong to student and h greater than 21. So instead of writing in the bracket t we can specify that t belong to student. Okay. Now in another way we can write it as like we have discussed in the last slide. For a tuple t there exists as belong to student such that s dot h greater than 21 right and t dot f name equals to s dot f name so we have to obtain the first name of a student so that's why for tuple t we have to specify that t dot f name so which is equals to s so s belong to student from student table from student table this equals to s dot f name okay so this is the required output right now next example now in the second example now consider the relation schema student and course okay now here we have to find out the names of all student who have taken the course name dbms so our required condition is course name equals to dbms right and what we have to find out names of all student so name from student table and condition is course name equals to dbms Yes, in order to obtain the student table who have taken the course name DBMS, we need to join these two table, right? For that, we need to perform natural join operation, right? So see here, 
Now here for a tuple T there exists S belong to student there exists C belong to course such that S dot course ID equals to C dot course ID. So this is the required condition if we are specifying this that S and see S dot course ID equals to C dot course ID means we are performing the natural join operation between course and student table and here the required condition is C dot C name equals to DBMS and T dot name equals to S dot name. So we have to find out name of all student. So we have, we have to specify that T dot name equals to S dot name. Okay. So if we didn't mention this condition, then it will perform the cross product. Okay. Cartesian product between student and course table. Then it will apply this condition and then it will fetch the T name. Okay. So but here we have to join these two table. Right. So we have to write this condition. Okay. Now the same query can be written as like this also. Like S belong to student, right? So S dot name, right? Vertical slash S belong to student, and there exists C belong to course such that S dot course ID equals to C dot course ID. So it will perform the natural join operation, right? And this is our required condition, right? Here instead of writing this expression, we already specified here S dot name. So S belong to student and name from student table. So we have to find out name from student table. Okay. So both the queries are correct. Now the third question we have to find out names of all student and their roll number who have taken the course name DBMS. Okay. Same question is there. Only the difference is along with the names of student we have to find out the roll number also. Okay. So here also we need to join these two table. Okay. Now if you see this TRC expression. Here we have specified s dot name comma s dot roll number because we have to find out the names of student along with their roll number and s belong to student and there exists c belong to course such that s dot course id equals to c dot course id so required condition for natural join operation and this is our required condition and similarly here also t for tuple t there exists c there exists s belong to student there exists c belong to course such that s dot course id equals to c dot course id this is our required condition and what we have to find out names and roll number right so t dot name equals to s dot name and t dot roll number equals to s dot roll number okay so both the queries are correct but this is more standard way of writing trc query okay because here if suppose we have to find out like four or five attributes then we have to specify s dot name comma s dot roll number comma c dot teacher and all those things right so we will follow okay so we will follow this expression only okay now next question now here consider the following relation flight table having flight number from to distant departs arrives aircraft table aircraft id aircraft name cruising range certified Okay, table EID, AID, employees EID, E name, salary. Now here we have to find out the EIDs of pilots certified for Boeing aircraft. Now certified. Now, now pilots belong to employees table and it must be a certified pilot. So in order to find out the pilot certified for Boeing aircraft, okay. Now Boeing aircraft, so aircraft name belongs to aircraft table that is a name and certified pilot that is eid okay so this one is eid now we have to find out the eids of pilot certified for boeing aircraft means we need to join these two table right so this is the relation algebra expression for this like we have to project eid so by eid condition is a name equals to boeing and we are performing the join operation here the equivalent trs query for this is like C dot AID where C belong to certified and there exists A belong to A graph such that A dot AID equals to C dot AID and A dot A name equals to Boolean. Okay. So it will give me the EID of pilot certified for Boeing A graph. Now similarly here for tuple T there exists C belong to certified there exists A belong to A graph such that a dot aid equals to c dot aid our condition and this is 
we have to find out okay next now in this question consider the following relations okay so same table is there now we have to find out the name and salaries of certified pilots working on Boeing aircraft so name aircraft name Boeing certified pilots so okay certified table name and salary so here we have to find out the name and salary means from employee table e name and salary okay now the equivalent relation algebra expression for this project operated by e name and salary okay uh, is our required condition and here we have to perform the natural joint operation between aircraft certified and employees table okay now the equivalent TRC query for this is for a tuple B there exists it belong to employees there exists similar certified there exists they belong to aircraft such that so this is the required condition for natural joint operation between aircraft ID and certified ID and A dot A name equals to Boeing so our required condition and EID equals to certified EID right and P dot E name equals to E dot E name so what we have to find out names and salaries of certified pilot means from employee stable E name and salary so here P dot E name equals to E dot E name and P dot salary equals to E dot salary so whatever we have to find out we have to specify that P dot E name equals to E that is from that table and the dot attribute name okay i hope you understand this now we'll move on to our next question so this is our last question now same table is there now here we have to identify the flights that can be piloted by every pilot whose salary is more than hundred thousand dollars okay now here one hint is given the pilot must be certified for at least one plane with sufficiently large cruising range means we have to compare the cruising range with the distance okay now the same thing what we have to find out identify the flights that can be piloted flights means flight number from flight table okay now for every pilot whose salary now salary so salary belongs to employees table okay right now when the that is sufficiently large distance means we have to compare the cruising range with the distance okay so yeah so equivalent TSA query for this is like f dot flight number that is f belong to certified and there exists a belong to aircraft there exists c belong to certified there exists e belong to employees okay and here a dot cruising range should be greater than f dot distance okay so this is our required condition that is sufficiently large cruising range so pilot must be certified pilot must be certified for at least one plane plane means from flight stable with the sufficient large cruising range so this is our required condition and a dot aid equals to c dot aid and salary is greater than 100,000 and e dot aid equals to c dot aid okay so yeah i hope you understand this tupper relation calculus part okay so thank you